This week is a trailer blazer, Chevy trailer blazer week. I have, um, looks like I have three of them today. Uh, I'm gonna show you how not to drive a car with a bad uh, ball joint, not on this car. But let me go outside and uh, show you what I'm talking about. So, I'm just walking out. This is the second trailblazer I have, doing some uh, power steering issue on it. LT Chevy, and um, I also have the other one, it's right here. Another trailblazer. So, this is the one, have a ball joint or a tie rod end issue. Also, have a suspicion issue. This is the Lexus. I'm gonna make another video about this um, all right so as you can see here this customer is lucky uh, to be alive honestly I mean this is really that's not a joke to drive a car with a bad ball joint look at the wheel it's moving all over the place um, so I'm gonna show you the bad ball joint I'm gonna remove the wheel and show you um, how it came off so you could understand the uh, danger. Also, this uh, control arm is bad. Also, I'm gonna show you um, how it uh, have a lot of play in it. So I'm gonna change this. I'm gonna change the outer um, tie rod. This is the tie rod, the new one. I'm take it. I'm gonna just put it on so I could bring the car on the lift. I can't. Uh, do it here on the floor on the ground so this is the the new one I'm gonna replace this and also I'm gonna replace the inner tie rod on both sides so I have uh, another set of this this is six millimeter 16 millimeter uh, thread they come in 14 and 16 but make sure this is uh, make sure you measure it before you order it this is 16 millimeter the width here is 16 millimeter and also this 16 they felt they fit in, in each other this is the inner, this is the outer. I'm gonna replace it. Uh, let me just remove the wheel so I can show you what it looks like when it breaks. So you can see how this is moves like crazy. This is very handy when you're uh, away from the air hose. Okay, here is the wheel is off. Just gonna clean my hand. That's so dirty. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to clean my hand. All right, so look at this. This just came off like this. So as you can see here, how bad this thing got. Look at this. All right, so this just came off here. This has to be replaced. I'm gonna change the inner two under this boot. Outer. I'm gonna change the upper control arm. I think a year ago or, or two years ago, I changed those uh, lower control arms on the bottom. They're new. They're still good. <coughs> so, I'm gonna show you how there's a play here. I'm sure there's ball joint also has a play, but it's, this is severely has a lot of play in it. Um, let's see if I can just. Hold on, please. Okay, hopefully you can see the play here too. This is has to be replaced here. You see this? This is no good. 
this is only my hand I'm just moving it with like very I barely put some effort on it and imagine the weight of the car and uh, when it faces bumps and all this stuff on the road so anyway my point is uh, just make sure please you check your tie rods I have a different video or a older video I made how to check your tie rod bef before this is happening if it has a smaller blade just change it please um, it's not worth it to lose your life because of this or get into a car accident just make sure you change it before it gets bad like this I think this customer is really lucky um, he's a nice guy alright so this is very much it just showing you the broken tie rod and um, uh, make sure you don't get to that point uh, this is it takes a probably three or four months two months depends how much you drive how much pressure you put on the car this is a truck it's not a joke so just make sure you you do this earlier than before I mean before you get to this point that's very much it thank you for watching